and today I'm going to be showing you um, how to make your own Minecraft server. So what you will need for this first is Hamachi and there will be a link to download this in the description. So it's right here. Um, it will be down there in the description below. Um, so that's the first thing. The second thing that you will need is my folder. I made this tutorial really really easy because everything else that you will need pretty much is in this folder already and on other tutorials they'll make you make the folder yourself this just really gives you a great shortcut and it really makes it a lot faster so yeah let's get started I'm gonna download Hamachi okay this is the website to download it as I said there will be a link in the description so don't worry about that you're gonna go to unmanaged and go download now Oh, you have to agree to the conditions of use, and then there you go. Okay, <clears throat> so there it is. It's downloaded. I can close that up now. Okay, so now I have that. So now I can just open this up, and this part's easy. Okay, so. I already have it installed so I don't have to do that but you just go through that process get the app installed and then put it on your desktop or wherever you can use it so that's that that's the first thing second thing as I said my pre-made folder with everything inside of it um, you don't have to make the folder yourself this just makes it really really easy so just gonna download my pre-made folder Okay, and it's done. Ads. Okay. E page. Okay. So, um, now that I have my folder downloaded, you'll see it in here. If you have Lion, it shouldn't download the zip, even though it says it is zip. It should just grab the folder out of the zip right away automatically for you. Okay, so there, I'll put it in the Apple so that you can see it well. There it is. So that's my pre-made folder. So the first thing that you're gonna do, just open up my folder, go into server, okay, and everything's in here. As I said, it's all there for you. So now I'm going to go to Spotlight Search, and I'm going to search Terminal. There you go. Open up Terminal. Okay. Now. Okay, so what you're going to do now is this one right here, start.command, you need to give it permission to go into this one, minecraftserver.jar. You need to give this permission to go into there so that it can grab all the files and start up the server itself. So how are you going to do that? You're going to go into terminal. You're going to type in chmod, so chmod, um, space a plus x space okay and now you're going to grab start dot command and drag it right in there after that and press enter okay so now that you have that done I can now close up terminal and we'll go into server properties you're gonna open it with text edit it should be you know the default but okay open there so text edit this is all of your or server properties is all of your information for your world and your server so I'm just gonna cut to the chase I want this to be a short uh, tutorial so what you're gonna do is go to server IP and now you're gonna open up Hamachi Okay, so Machi's open for me. Um, so what you're gonna do is, if this is the first time you've run Hamachi, it's gonna tell you to, that you have to power it on. So if I power on Hamachi, there we go, and I'm on here. Now you won't have your name here. You have to make your own Hamachi account with your username or ID and password, and 
if once you turn it on for the first time it will give you an IP address so this is the one that you're gonna need to put in here so your IP will not be the same as mine so five uh, Okay, so there's my IP. It's in there. Um, now, uh, level seed. So this is the seed that your level will be when you make the new level for your um, server. You can do that if you want. I'm just going to give a random seed by leaving it blank. And uh, I don't really want to mess with anything else in here. So there, that's that. I'm just going to go file. I'm going to save a version. And I can close that up. So just note, I am doing this on OS X Lion. So that's why it said save version, not save as. If you're doing it on Snow Leopard, it it's pretty much the same. There's a few little differences. But if you're that worried about it, you can go to a different tutorial for Snow Leopard. Because I'm not going to be showing you that here. Okay. So. Now that I have that out of the way. Um, so now that I have typed in my IP address... I can keep Hamachi open. Do not close Hamachi. And I'm going to just double click start dot command. Open. Now don't touch anything. And there you go. It's going through it. And you see the percents going up? Once it gets to 100%, then you know, it's pretty much done. So there you go. Done. Now, keep Hamachi open, and I can now open up Minecraft. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I'll just show you the actual server itself and that it is actually working. So, multiplayer. I already have a server created, but it's just, it is already proof that it is working because right here, that's my IP address and it says that I have full signal and I'm just going to join that server okay and I'm here so that's it guys it's fun here's some dogs that's pretty awesome so yeah that's pretty much it so thanks for watching this video uh, I hope it really helped you out and if it did help you out uh, just like this video one more thing to note you will not be able to break things or build things near the spawn area. The reason for that is they don't want you spawning right in your house because that'd be kind of cheap. But if you just move away from the spawn area a bit, you should be able to yeah, see break stuff and build stuff as well. So, yeah, thanks for watching this, guys. Uh, comment, rate, sub well, like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.